Hello, this is Warlord, and we're going to take a look at getting some of the more problematic clothing from Daz over into Character Creator 3. And what we're going to do is use the new Transformer from Character Creator 3 and solve some of the problems that come along with tight-fitting clothing, particularly something like this bodysuit here. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. What I have is the Genesis 8 female loaded, and then I have the expiration suit from Manta Man. I uh, just went ahead and just clicked the outfit, loaded the entire outfit onto the character. Now, as far as the way this outfit is made, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with this outfit. It's just, uh, since it's tight-fitting, it can cause some problems over in Character Creator 3 because it was not made for Character Creator 3. So anyway, all we do is just have our Genesis 8 character and whatever clothing we're going to use. We're going to come over here and we're going to export. And what we're going to do is you can see I've already exported that one. We're gonna, I'm just going to call it EXP suit. You call it whatever you want. We'll go ahead and export it again. And here are the settings. Make sure you're on a 2011 binary, FBX. And just mimic these settings. Figures, props, animations, locks, morphs, embed textures, merge clothing, allow degraded skinning, allow degraded scaling, and sub D information. So just go ahead and make sure that you have these set like this. And then we'll go ahead and let it export. Now in Character Creator 3, we're going to use the Transformer. I have a Transformer button here on my toolbar, or you can go up to Create, Transformer, and we load the file that we just exported. And I'm going to click the Basic choice. Now we'll just let it do its thing. And now you'll see here we have, we have two gloves, two shoes, and a cloth, so everything's okay. And now we have our character in. Okay, now we'll dress her up a little bit. Give her some hair. And a little makeup. Okay, that dresses her up a bit. So far, so good. Now, everything looks deceivingly okay from this angle. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. And if we turn it around, you can already see right there what some of the problem is. So, the first thing we attempt to do is we'll come in here under Conform. We'll calculate Collision. And we'll see how well this works. This is generally the first thing I try because it's just the simplest. Okay, and right now, so far, that's fine. Save as default, which would save it for this particular figure. So, that took care of that pretty good. Now, let's go over here. And let's check a pose. And more problems appear. You see, we've already got some poke through there. And we have poke through again here and here. Now this is a tight fitting. This is just one of the things that can happen. Now one thing we can do is we can do the same thing we do in Dash Studio and it's use opacity. It's just here we do it directly. We can't use the body because the neck is attached and the neck would disappear. But we can come in with the uh, arm and the leg, slide down here to opacity and get rid of that because we don't need it. It's a body suit. And that also cuts off the hand which keeps any poke through in the fingers and we've got everything done except right there so what we need to do next would be to come in one more time to the bodysuit conform and move it up until some of that disappears and don't use any more than you have to you start getting over 0.6 or 7 it starts getting a little thick But now that looks pretty good right there. Now let's go check it a little further. The standing 08 pose will usually show some problems in the back, which on this one it does. Now in this case, instead of keeping and just continuing to increase, I would come in here and I would use the mesh. I would grab the face, soft selection tool, and of course you want to reduce that down pretty small. 
and I would pull out just as little as I had to. Mainly because you don't want to pull out any points or anything like that. So you just come here and just work these out. You can also make that selection a little smaller. And then since you're going to do this, you probably have roughed it up a little bit. And there might be a triangle point or something sticking out. Come over into Sculpt, Smooth, and just come in and smooth those down. Just don't smooth it down past the skin. And that solves that problem. So now we're in pretty good shape. But one thing to remember, when you're using something that's tight fitting, there's always going to be poke through in a lot of pose, extreme poses. So you can go in with the pasty and cut out as much as you can. You could even come into the body with Photoshop and uh, go ahead and cut out everything in an opacity map except for the neck if you had to. But this shows you the basics of getting around some of the problems you have when you bring in such tight fitting clothing. Particularly clothing that wasn't made for CCC3. Now this is another character that was a little problematic and this is Dark Alice by Rihanna and it's a wonderful character. But for some reason it would not let me import it in with the armbands and the boots on. It would give me a profile error and wouldn't import anything in. So by trial and error I realized it was the boots. So what I did was import it in everything using the transformer except the boots. And then I loaded just the boots and brought them in through the transformer on its own character and then saved them. And then this allowed me to put them both together like this and have the character available. Which as you can see is worth the extra effort. Uh, once you go in and finish it up, light it, do things like that. So you just kind of have to play along and see what happens. If you do get a profile error and you know that it's a character that is supposed to go ahead and convert like it's a Genesis 3 or a Genesis 8, then just start bringing it in uh, one piece of clothing at a time and you'll eventually figure out what's giving you the problem.